Hi, Professor Nupteed. Professor Nupteed. Well, hello, Scotty. I've been expecting you. Do you think Professor Nupteed might be the next Bond villain? You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, dear sir. It's Kareem Howden. Hello, Kareem. How are you getting on, sir? Lovely to have you with I'm us. Very well. And apparently, very you can well. see me and hear me tonight. Sorry, say that again. You can see me and hear me tonight, apparently. Absolutely, I've got you on the big screen just now. That's our first time for everything, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Scott, no, it's good to have you back on, Scott. Now yeah, then, yeah. what's happening with you? Nothing much, to be fair, Scott, at the <laughs> moment. I think work starts back next week, so I think everybody will be busy again. Back Everybody's to back season. next week, yes, absolutely wonderful. You know, so and, and that's about it. I've took a wee, I think for some of the people that, Listen to us speak weekly. I've took a wee kind of break at the moment from some politics. <laughs> uh -huh. Good, Kareem. No, no, no. Listen, I think we're all needing a break, to be honest, because I think things were yeah. getting a bit tense. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it would be nice to just do something on the lighter hearted side. But I, I did, I don't know if you've seen it, I did a video last night about swearing on the internet. And one of right. the things that I don't like. You'll get stuff coming up. I won't mention the platforms, but on uh -huh. various platforms on the internet. And some of these videos are really class acts. They're very good, but they decide to swear in it. So they yeah. say, you people are needing to, and they start effing and jeffing. And I just immediately block and ban that person because I think I don't want somebody effing and jeffing in my home. Yeah. And I'm not yeah. being approved. I'm not. I mean, I mean, I I can catch up with the best of them and all the rest of it. But when I'm watching a video about a serious subject, I don't need to be told how so and so stupid I am for not doing this or that. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's it's, it's a bit pressing, isn't it? Like when you're watching uh, a video that's given out information, or if it's really really funny, the last yeah. thing you want is. F and here and F and that, because well, I think it takes away part of the content. totally devalues the whole video. They might as well not pop up at all. Mm -hmm. And it means but they'll never it, pop up in front of me again, you know? I tell you who is good at that kind of thing. I think sometimes he does it too much, but other times I think he can get it just right, and it's the legendary Billy Connolly. Oh, Billy Connolly. Well, that's a different thing, because that's a genre of language. Uh -huh. And Billy did it when no one else was doing it. Right. But now people who don't have Billy's talent, which is virtually everyone, um, <laughs> thinks that they'll maybe be a comedian and start effing yeah. and jeffing because they think it's funny. It's actually yeah. not funny. Billy yeah. made an yeah. art form out of using that language because, uh, as I say, he was the first to do it. Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, I, I think, but obviously being a Scotsman and that the rough voice and the swear words from time to time yes. and people you know and he was selling he was selling something but when yes. you see I, I think just now Scott if you look at comedy I mean really comedy's not what it used to be you can put on like only fools and horses or you know you can watch that forever oh, it will wonderful. always be funny very funny and Billy will always be very funny and his original stuff I've got it on video and it's very, uh -huh. very funny. And yeah. the reason it's so funny, as I say, is because he's an original and he's observational. So he looks yeah. at a scenario and he thinks that's funny. And even mm -hmm. if it wasn't funny, he makes it funny. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. just by yeah. telling the story. He used to appear regularly on Michael Parkinson and everybody went home to see Billy. Well, everyone went home to see Michael Parkinson anyway. And he, <laughs> you know, he used to interview all the big stars, things like uh, Fred Astaire and David Niven and things like yeah. that. You yeah. know? Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, you don't, as I said, you don't get comedy what it used to be or it's kind of different now. But like when you think of like, like, I don't know, even more modern ones from 10 years ago, like absolutely fabulous. That yes. had its moments with Joanna yes. Lumley. Brilliant. And then Hail and Pace. You had Spitting Image at times as well. Was and really again, funny. they're very talented people. 
in their own right. You know, I mean, you mentioned the wonderful Joanna Lumley there. She's an outstanding actress. She's uh, she, she's a comedian. She's she's a consummate professional. And um, and that's the difference from somebody saying, "I think I'll stand up an F and Jeff and maybe become yeah. famous." Yeah, yeah. I, I think the only modern comedies that I would like that I would say was any good just now would be still game. And we've spoke about people spoke about that. I think just yes. the quality. If you think before that, you had Rab C Nesbitt. Um, they were really good. Very you had, funny. Uh, uh, you know, there was many comedies that I just feel nowadays you just don't seem to get anymore. Yes, naked video, naked radio, the fast yeah. show, chewing the fat, you know, all <laughs> that stuff. Again, talented people. And I love... Two Doors Down uh, as well, Scotty. Two Doors That's Down, really. yes. Yeah, and I just I just think we're, we're losing that just now. But, you know, at the end of the day, comedy finds its way, it'll come back. And I think oh, yes. TikTok... Uh, there are some outstanding, you know, yes. TikTokers that are really, really funny. Yes. You know, and yes. well done to them. And uh, that's right. And what I do, I mean, is it throws people a bit because I don't do the same thing, uh, you know, mm -hmm. twice over, really. There's always something different. And it's just purely observational. And we're just trying it out. And I don't mind if 50 people or 50,000 watch it. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. great fun. Yeah. No, I, I think. Scotty, that's one thing I've always admired about you, and you've always got good ideas, and you're always pushing it out there, you know, and trying different things and moving forward. I think there's too many people that just like to, will stay inside the box and will be fine with that. You've got to push yourself outside the box, look at different avenues, and I always think you do do that, whether when you started with the radio and you were back in uh, Scott FM and then your adventure up until just now. There's just so many different uh, avenues that you've taken. Well, I think, just keep it going, somebody once paid me, which I took to be a huge compliment, and that was, Scotty, even if one person popped up, you would still do your show. And I thought, yes, I would. Because there used to be a lovely story about the Edinburgh Fringe many years ago, and two ladies turned up to performance. And there were two, two guys doing a double-hander. And one stepped forward and he said, ladies, I notice there's only two of you, but my brother yeah. and I see ourselves as consummate professionals and we will do the whole show for you. And yeah. one of the ladies said, well, could you hurry up, please, because we're wanting to get the place cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> nice stuff. I like it. Kareem, oh, uh, lovely, lovely to hear you, and we will catch up and get more chewing the fat at some point. And all the best for things next week. Thank you very much, Scotty. You have a great week ahead. Speak to you next and week. And you, sir, did you do Toronto? <laughs> what a lovely guy. That's our Kareem, guys. Mm. And uh, always an interesting thing to say now.